Uh, what is the beer card? Okay, so the beer card is the seven of diamonds. Um, and basically there's this premise that uh, it's like a partnership agreement where um, if you can make, if you can win the final trick with the seven of diamonds and it's not the trump suit, your partner has to buy you a beer. So it's just like bridge wasn't difficult enough. So uh, they just wanted to make it a little bit tougher. So I give you that extra challenge. G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. Give this a shot if you haven't already and I'll show you how to actually get into these sessions. So when logged into BBO, what you want to do is come down and click Solitaire Bridge and then come down and click Weekly Free Instant Tournament. All right. So... Uh, pass pass to me and I have a 15 count with a really nice spade suit um, but uh, I'm happy to open this one no trump um, so if it's uh, close to a no trump opening I, I do it and then two clubs any single suited double stamen redouble what's tanned all right so I've got really good clubs and then my partner said three no trumps hopefully they do have a stopper in clubs this would be awkward if they didn't uh even if they have a stopper in clubs what's this redouble balanced hand okay got eight to eleven points i'm just vaguely considering whether i just overrule my partner and bid four spades it seems ridiculous um but do I have any reason to do so? So my partner's probably got four hearts. Um, they should have probably only three clubs, like East showed a balanced hand, like two, two, six, three. Um, so if my partner's got four hearts and three clubs, they could have five diamonds, I guess, but I feel like we have a 5-2 spade. I'm really, really tempted to bid four spades. Like, really tempted. I'm worried that my partner, like, my main concern here is that I'm worried that my partner will just sort of go off the rails, and, um, which would be an unfortunate start. Um, but they should just pass, right? Uh, let's go ahead and oh, I'll trust my gut. I'll bid four spades. Please pass. Okay, good. Hey, David, thanks for coming in. Hey, we found a spade fit. And look, my partner only had one club stopper. Looks like we had five spade tricks and three aces. So looks like three no is down one and looks like four spades is down two. Good news. Um... Okay, so I got two heart losers, I got a club loser, and I got two diamond losers. We have nine there and 15 in my hand is 24, so there's 16 left over. And they've both bid. So eight points there and I guess eight points in the west hand. Um, okay. There's a lot of bidding going on, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was more distribution in the West Camp card. They might have like a seven card club suit. Um, at any rate, we're going to start with that. Okay. So how could I possibly reduce my losers? Um, I could play East for like king 10 or queen 10 of diamonds and just lead a low diamond here i could hope that east has king queen of hearts and lead a low heart i could do uh i could play west for like on a 10 of diamonds so maybe i can reduce my diamonds that way so what i'm gonna do is i've got these really good pips and diamonds so we're just going to draw two rounds of trumps if west follows here and i didn't say the jack so we're going to draw that trump 
And then I'm just going to lay a low diamond. And I'm actually going to finesse west for the 10 of diamond. Um, all right, what now? I can see if diamonds are 3-3. Three, three. I can just exit a diamond and hope that they're 3-3. Three, three. Do I have any other shot? Not really. So we'll go ahead and do that. They're not 3-3. Three, three. Uh, the 2-2, two, two. Uh, we're just getting the Ace of Hearts, and we are down 2, so this will be like 0% or something. I think if people open 1 spade, they don't get to 4 spades, and I think if they, people pass 3-0, they're down. I just 4 spades down 2. Someone else have the same auction as me? Oh, they bid four hearts. Okay. Reno making. Nine tricks. They lead a low club. They lead a low club. Ah, uh, beautiful. <laughs> That's what I get for running. Trust your partner. Could have had an equal top. All right. Uh, moving on to board number two, and here we've got 19 high card points, six four shape. Uh, one spade, two spades, so I'm bidding four spades. I don't think partner's hand can be good enough to make slam. I need like king of spades, ace of hearts. King of spades, ace of hearts. I can throw my club away. Queen of diamonds? Queen ten of diamonds? Okay, I found a nine count that I could make slam on, but uh, usually I want to think of a perfect minimum. So if I could do it without that queen of diamonds, then that's sort of the hand I'd be uh, trying to do it on. All right, so uh, this hand's pretty good. Uh, a couple of finesses that I want to take. I want to finesse the spades and I want to dump the heart on the club. And I want to guess who's got the queen of diamonds. Uh, diamonds, I've got a two-way guess in. All right. Um, so low heart to the 10. All right, so I could either play a diamond to the king, cash my ace of hearts throwing the club and finesse a spade, or I could play a diamond to the 10, cash my ace of hearts if the finesse works, and throw a club away. Firstly, I don't think West has a singleton diamond. So uh, East could have a singleton diamond, but that's only really bad if East has singleton queen of diamonds. Um, so then it's also, why did West choose a heart lead? Low heart to the 10. So expecting like the queen or jack there. Looks like hearts are 4-4. Four, four. East is a passed hand. I think I got some heart cards, a spade card. I'm going to play West for the Queen of Diamonds. I really don't have much to go on. Um, but my main thought is that West might have led it if they had a Singleton Diamond, whereas East, I have no idea about. Um, they usually like passive leads and they didn't lead a Diamond, so maybe they got that. So I'm just going to go ahead and lead a Diamond to the 10. And now Ace of Hearts letting the uh, club go. And finesse the spade. Okay, uh, our spades, they are behaving. Okay, uh, so I've got all the rest of the tricks here. But importantly, I might be able to make the beer card. I might be able to win the final trick with the uh, seven of diamonds. So uh, let's just play the jack of diamonds to the king and diamond back. I could have committed a bit harder to it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Making the beer card. That, that makes the first hand feel like 
all but forgotten. So taking all 13 tricks. Here I was worried about only bidding slam. Start. No, let's not bid slam. 85% with the beer card. Oh, that's beautiful. So just guessing the diamonds right. So as you can see here, West led a heart from four low hearts. They led passively. I wasn't even sure it was passive, but if they had a heart on it, then um, it made me think they were even more likely to have a diamond on it because of how much they like passive leads. So the fact that they didn't lead passively in diamonds meant, yeah, we'll try them for the queen of diamonds. Just a little small thing to go on. So uh, yeah. Moving on to hand number three and nine, 15, 17 high card points in a five card suit. Uh, what is the beer card? Okay, so the beer card is the seven of diamonds. Um, and basically there's this premise that uh, it's like a partnership agreement where um, if you can make, if you can win the final trick with the seven of diamonds and it's not the trump suit, your partner has to buy you a beer. So it's just like bridge wasn't difficult enough. So uh, they just wanted to make it a little bit tougher. So give you that extra challenge. So usually your partner will buy you a beer if you uh, win the final trick with the seven of diamonds when it's not trumps. Okay, so here we've got 12, 15, 17, uh, one heart. Oh, one heart, two no, unusual, three hearts. Again, this looks like just a four heart bid. Uh, no chance of slam. Um, four hearts is even potentially pushy. Like my, my minor suit holdings are a bit garbage, so I wouldn't be surprised if I went off. But partner, coming in with the goods, filling up that, those gaps. All right, so I got a couple of spade losers. And I got a diamond loser, no clubs. Hearts is kind of interesting because uh, West has 10 cards in the minors, so they've only got three major suit cards. So straight away, I am curious as to um, how many spades they have. That kind of looks like a singleton. It's looking a fair bit like a singleton now. Um, we're just going to go in the ace of diamonds. And... They led the king from ace king third. Right. Okay. Um I think I'm in a bit of trouble with East having five hearts. So if that's the case, spades are three three. I need to get two clubs. Do I? Uh, I can I'm gonna lead a low spade here. Okay, we win that, and now they make me rough. Queen of spades will hold up, and I'm going down one here because of the uh, bad break. Yeah, unfortunate. That one was uh, pretty good. And I could have made if I just let the tenor hearts run. Um, but I thought that that led a uh, singleton there. I, I could have made it if I just ran the tenor hearts, but th there was really no reason to think that. But if they went like king of spades, ace of spades, spade or something, then you'd know that there was that 5 nil break straight away. Um, so you would want to go for it. Um. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh, they can always beat me. Uh, they can always just force. Why? Because uh, I, I have to lose the spades anyway. I don't have the timing to set it up. Okay. Well, I was thinking I could get a spade trick, but uh, always lose a diamond and two spades. And if I draw all the trumps, I lose an extra. 
Yeah, that's nice to know. I didn't go off in a coldie. But currently 54%. Moving on to board number four. Partners overcalled, and I have 13 high card points. I'm going to go ahead and bid uh, two clubs. Yeah, that's where we stop. Okay, partner's got useful cards for me. Uh, West opened the bidding, one diamond, and we've got 10, 13, 23, 17 missing. West has 12, East has five sort of thing. Um, I think I want entries to my hand, do I, to finesse hearts or dummies to finesse spades? Probably to dummies to finesse spades or use the uh, good hearts. Queen of diamonds, okay. So the ace of spades is in the west hand, the ace of clubs is in the west hand. So I just want to finesse a heart here and now. Like heart to the queen, ace of hearts, rough a heart. Try and set those up. I'm going to give that a shot. Hmm. That could be from King Jack. Uh, I think that the points kind of have to be 12 and 5. And if I give West the Jack of Hearts, that. Uh, if I give East the Jack of Hearts, it doesn't work that way. Oh, they're covered. Yeah, okay, so. All right, so now we actually know that. Uh, West is unbalanced because it's not 12 and 5. I'm not sure if it's 13 and 4. Um, they are unbalanced. Good to know. So <laughs> lots of bad breaks to try and deal with. Uh, I roughed in with the 10 of clubs. So um, I'm missing ace, 8, 4, 3, 8. Five, four, three. Okay. Uh, I know the uh, top space, the ace is there, so we'll just give that a go. And we win there. Okay, so we don't want to draw any more trumps. I'm just not sure if I should play a spade now or just play hearts. If I play hearts, east gets rid of uh, their spades, so I'm thinking just a spade to the king. My nine of spades is good for getting back there. It gets roughed, it gets roughed. That was a natural trick. Okay, and uh, we've got a high cross rough at this stage. I just saw them trumping like ah, <laughs> but no. Wait, you said high cross rough. Believe yourself. Okay, 57% for two clubs. Some people got to three no. They just bid three no trumps. Bidding three no trumps seems a bit much. If you're going to do that, I think two no trumps is about right. Opposite an overcall, which... Um, so one no trump is like nine to 11. Three no trumps is like 15. So like... If you wanted to treat this one as balanced and invite, you wanted to bid two no trumps opposite an overcall, which is 12 to 14. Uh, moving on to board number five and absolute powerhouse here. I could make slam opposite the, I could make grand slam opposite the ace of spades. Uh, so I'm going to start by showing a two suitor with uh, unusual two no trumps, see which suit my partner picks. Um, thing four no, see which suit my partner picks. Oh, it doubled in hearts, oh baby. Yeah, let's redouble that. <laughs> like here I was thinking about bidding slam, we get doubled um, in five hearts. If you, if you don't redouble, you actually score worse than bidding and making slam. Uh, slam would probably go off 
uh, from the side by playing it on a spade lead. Um, but here, this looks pretty cruisy unless both hearts and clubs are four nil. Um, East opened one diamond. So the ace of spades is probably on side at a competitive raise. Will rough and see if hearts are four nil. They aren't, so we are no longer in danger. And what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to discard uh, all my spades and then trump uh, just one of them. But making 12 tricks. Probably could have put a bit more thought into that one. But it seemed good. One hundred percent. Nice. So you only get seventy eight percent if you don't redouble because other people have doubled and don't send it back. Uh and you have to beat the slam. So the redouble does exist and for a reason. Sometimes the opponents just double you and you have the world's fair and just don't need anything. Um so Bidding like two no and then four clubs. This was kind of my thought, but I didn't really think this was, you know, showing as good a hand as what I had. I was like pretty keen on bidding slam there. Um, so four no there was just like, nah, just pick between my suits. And because I've gone past four hearts, I think I'm showing an absolute rock crusher to try and bid slam there. Right, uh, flat 16 count. So one no trump. Three clubs, uh, diamond transfer. Okay. Ooh. All right. So partner's got some good diamonds. Uh, we've got no spade losers. We've got one heart loser. We've got two clubs and we've got a couple of diamonds. Uh, I want to sort of double finesse clubs like lead the 10 and low to the jack, low to the nine sort of stuff. Clubs come good. I might be able to throw the heart away. And yeah, I just want to see what's happening in diamonds. Okay, ace on sides, good news. Let's see if they're 3 2 next. Oh, club shift. Beautiful. Love the defense. Okay. They're 3 2. Uh, I. Gonna let go of a heart and knock out the other top club. And we got the rest. That heart's going on the club. So making 11. Pretty much everyone was doing that. So moving on to board number seven. Uh, nine, 15 high card points, five, four, three, one. So a bit of diamond and two clubs. You know, yeah, I'm going to accept that to three. Okay, spade lead. So we've got three spade winners on that lead. Uh, we've got the ace of hearts. You can build more tricks in hearts, but entries are a little bit of an issue. Um, I could try and build tricks in clubs, or I could try and fix diamonds. Hope that they're like three, three with the king on side. Hearts and clubs look pretty promising. Um, and because I'm in the north hand, like I, I did want to start on hearts first, uh, but because I'm in the north hand, I'm just going to lead a club towards the king because it's something I have to do. Anyway. Yeah. So I can finesse the clubs again. Maybe I should have just played hearts first. They came in, I got four, played a heart over, and then the king of clubs. Yeah, I should have just led the king of clubs out of my hand. So heart to the ace, king of clubs. That was a much better play. Much, much, much better play. Anyway, here we are. Let's redeem it. Let's not give up on this hand. Uh, I could finesse clubs, or I could finesse diamonds. 
Uh, I feel like I can do clubs at any stage, although if I see the jacker clubs appear, so if I go low and the jack appears, I go A, uh, Queen, untangle, club back to the nine, and I've redeemed myself straight away. Um, if I play a diamond finesse, and that works, I'd then go Ace of Diamonds, Diamond, hope that they're 3-3 three, three with the king on side. Bit of a stretch. So I think I want the club entry. And now my next question is, do I just hope that uh, the club jack falls doubleton? Maybe that's a better way of, like, percentage-wise, I should be finessing the jack. What I'm caring about is maybe that entry to the nine of clubs later. Um, if I win here and the jack doesn't fall, maybe I can just duck a diamond out of hand. I'm playing it in such a way that I'm probably going to get a zero going for it, but I think there's maybe the best way of redeeming it. Nice. Okay. We're back in the game after messing it up at the start. Five of hearts. You always want to pay attention to the suit you're going to play next, and hearts is the uh, suit I care about. Knock that out, and I just want to care about the ten of hearts. Ten of hearts? They threw one! Oh, I'm going to get an insane score for this. Don't deserve it at all. Uh, but managed to uh, not give in, throw in the towel. And 100%. So I probably deserved zero on this for how I played the earlier part of this hand. You should really win the ace, uh, the spade, play a heart to the ace and the king of clubs out of hand. Um, because you're going to run out of timing. But it's important that once you realize you mess up a hand, and you're going to do this all the time, don't give in and just come up with a good plan. And here my plan swapped from just being, well, how should I make the most amount of tricks? It was also, how do I get back to people who actually just played this hand well to start off with? And I was super fortunate in the layout of uh, a couple of things happening. Firstly, that jack of clubs falling. I needed that miracle. But also, when I played a club to the nine, they threw a heart away, which was their extra stopper there. So this trick, that's why I got that 100% there. Other people going down in three no trumps? Or, yeah, I was going to get a really good score for just making three. Um, but see how most people are playing it. So they win. Diamond for so I really think it's heart to the ace, king of clubs out of hand. So then when you get back in, you see if you can set up the hearts in time. By going queen of hearts, they win. You get back in, you go jack of hearts, you don't see the ten fall this time. And then you've got two hearts, three spades, a diamond. So I would finesse the club jack and I would go down. But I think that's a significantly better way of playing it. But, you know, you don't score as well. So sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. On to hand number eight. And here we've got 12, 13 points, four card heart suit. So, that. I should bid a heart, but playing match points, I don't really ever want to play in hearts on this hand with all my points stacked. Um, one heart is such a normal bid, but I'm just going to go ahead and play three now. Like a best hand tournament, I know I'm not interested in slam. I want to play no trumps from my side. My partner's got hand like that. Right. That is really interesting about. <laughs> this is why you usually bid a heart. Partner can have hands like this. That being said, I'm not sure how four hearts would go compared to four, three no trumps. Um, I've got six diamonds, got the ace of clubs, I've got the ace of spades. I could just win and knock out the club, but most people would be bidding a heart with my hand and get supported in hearts and play four hearts. Four hearts looks like it's going to lose probably two heart tricks and maybe a spade or maybe three heart tricks and no spade. Um, 
So I think I really need to make 10 tricks on this. Um, so I was thinking of sort of just strange plays like win the ace of diamonds and just lead a low heart towards my hand. Uh, East sometimes is hard pressed to put in an honor there. Um, and if I lose to West, I'm kind of in a better spot. But I think I'll just win the ten of diamonds. I was slightly nervous about a five nil diamond break. Um, and let's just lead a heart. Oh, wow. Okay, I wish I could go back and um, <laughs> uh, just like make my three no. This is a lot better than playing in four hearts. Um, okay, so three. Okay, that six of spades is low. I can duck this and then West has to shift. Or I could win the ace of spades and then west has to shift. I've got... I'm going to duck it. I don't think west is going to enjoy being on lead. Uh, they're going to just play a diamond, which is easy enough. But uh, that gives me the timing to cash all of these. And I'm going to finesse the club and west still can't do anything. And now they play a club back to me, but we make our contract. Maybe I could have made an extra one. 82%. Okay. <laughs> so for that one, I feel sorry for all the people in four hearts that just bid one heart. I was really just like, I don't want to play four hearts on lots of times we have a heart fit. But the 5 nil break was certainly awful. But when Dummy came down, I was like, maybe four hearts is where I want to be. And then at trick two, I was like, no, no, no. That's not where I want to be. Anyway, uh, super high rolly um, tournament. Um, tried a few things, redoubled some contracts, um, but and also recovered well. So I'm not sure like this was my best clear headed uh, just like do this, 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 and then you'll win. This is just, uh, yes. Exciting bridge, to say the least. Anyway, uh, that was this week's uh, weekly free instant tournament. 69% finished in first spot or equal first. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> so, some really interesting boards in that one. Hope you all enjoyed uh, the weekly free instant tournament. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters and uh, look forward to seeing, seeing you next time. Bye for now.